What's going on my fellow YouTube 3D printers, family members, business owners, hobbyist or enthusiast, whatever you choose to be in this. I just figured I'd bring you along my little shop slash office area and how I work my little get system right now. So um, let's just walk you through it. I'll show you what I got and uh, I'll show you how it's set up. And then of course uh, you can comment below and let me know what you have and let me know what you're running and how you use your machines i'd love to hear what you have to say so we're going to start off to the left right here and we're going to move it over to the right so starting from the left um of course up on the wall we have the ams light sitting up there where my finger is pointing um, and that's feeding the a1 mini down below uh, that's currently running toothpaste tube squeezers that I print. I run two different flavors of them and I run them in different colors. Uh, so that, that's what's printing right now. Um, I have build plates off to there that aren't on the machines. The spare build plates and build plate treatments such as carbon fiber looking finishes, starried, speckled, things like that. That's all over there. Um, on the bench next to it is kind of like any heat inserts, springs, uh, M3, M4 screws, nuts, bolts, anything like that for projects that need to be held together. That Those are generally for things that I just like to build for me uh, whenever I have time. So that's kind of what all that is. And all the bins running across this bench right here, um, those are all basically uh, we got like PTF tubing, a couple bamboo kits that came with the printers when I bought them. We got extruders, hardened extruders. We got every size of uh, nozzle for the bamboo printers. We've got silicone socks, uh, wiper blades, just uh, anything you want. Decondescent uh, packs for the AMS, for the filaments bearings for jobs battery holders um you know we got motors over here jigs spare parts for the plus one pro i don't have any spare parts for the some of the other ones yet and we'll get into that but those are basically just all parts that i use to either repair uh fix maintain the printers uh as they need it so that's kind of what that is um, of course, we have the uh, Chidi Plus 4 uh, running now, and it's also running a job that is uh, just basically some TPU feet for another project that another printer's running, and I'll show you that. Um, that's a really great printer if you want to do some engineering grade stuff, uh, and you know I'll talk about that shortly. Uh, running right next to it is the El Igu uh, Neptune 4 Pro, and that is well running some toothpaste squeezers. Uh, that's running in a glow in the dark green, uh, just something I make for like the young kids that like stuff that glows in the dark. So those are printing uh, on there, and uh, glow in the dark PLA. Then we have the uh, Space Pie filament dryer, two roll filament dryer, and I run that thing. Uh, well, I ran it for about 12 hours to dry out the TPU before I started printing it. Um, but I dry all my filament before I store it, and then if it's a filament that's affected by moisture heavily, I usually dry it for you know at least three hours before I print. Uh, most of my storage is pretty airtight, so I don't worry about a lot of humidity. But in the event that uh, you don't, it's good to dry your filament. Otherwise, you get not getting the best best quality prints. Uh, then down here we have the Bamboo Lab P1S, and that is also. Um, I'm going to move the camera so y'all can see. Um, that's actually, sorry for the vibration, um, that's actually ran a job that these TPU feet go into 
and I'll talk about that here shortly, but that's uh, 20, 30, and 40 millimeter uh, leg extensions, and these are the TPU feet for the bottom of it. Um, just so you know. So that's the Bamboo Lab uh, P1S printer, and that one's pretty decked out. Um, it's got the bento box in it. It does have, of course, you know, the AMS unit. It's got the Panda Touch screen, uh, Panda Claw extruder, Revo hot end, and nozzle, Diamondback nozzles. Um, it, it's pretty specked out, uh, and it does a really good job for me. It's a workhorse. Uh, that was actually the very first printer that I bought. Um, I just started this back in May, um, and I just kind of ran with it. And uh, yeah, so don't know everything. So if I say something that's wrong or whatever, you know, hey, help educate me in the comments. Just uh, be respectful about it. That's the only thing I ask. Uh, but yeah, I got that uh, P1S right there. And then down here, we got the Q1 Pro. And it's also running uh, these red TPU feed. I'm doing red and white for uh, options uh, with with these feet uh, kits. And um, so that's running down there. And that is my, my printer setup for the, the time being. I will probably, uh, you know, it's hard to say, but I think, I, I know this is pretty much foolproof. So I'll probably get me one more of these for the time being. But I also, I kind of really want to wait till they put the, the material system out for this because this is a more capable printer across the board, uh, temperature wise and that. Uh, you know, it's had a few little issues here and there, but uh, that's another video. Uh, nothing major, just kind of things that weren't ironed out, but really great printer, I really like that. And I really like that Q1 Pro as well, but you know, it's a single color printer. Then uh, looking down below, uh, the parts bins that we were talking about I have basically um, on the floor here this is all the orange to the, the RC car that's just ABS and then um, against the wall is um, PEC and or excuse me PEAK uh, uh, filaments and then like on this top shelf all the way over there, it's kind of like down there. I've got ASAs towards this end, um, black, white, and red, I think. And then two rolls of PA-12, two rolls of PA-6. Uh, one is uh, CF, one is GF, glass fiber and carbon fiber on each. Then I got some polycarbonates, I got some PHTCFs, um, some more TPU uh, glass fiber, I got some PET CF, and that's kind of like all the engineering stuff over there when I want to do something that's actually um, not artsy but actually functional if I want to make something. It's kind of what I use that for, or prototypes or something, which usually is for like this RC car. Um, uh, usually what that's for anyhow but then uh, moving over to here down below um, all this stuff right here all the way to the um, the the green right like there on camera all this that's all pet G high flow um, next to it is some um, clear just pet G then I got some PET G carbon fiber that's brick red. And I got a roll of PET G carbon fiber that's in this lab because that's what the feet are printed out of. And then all the way at the end of the shelf is basically uh, some basic glow in the dark filaments, PLA. And down at the bottom is all CMKY filaments for lithographs that I do. Um, and then all this on the box right here all the way up to the last four so from uh there down is all pla silks of all the colors and then this right um right here these four right there that's also just abs and different or abs glass fiber sorry right there so that's abs glass fiber 
and I do have some uh, PLA metals all those colors on order uh, but they're like lost and I don't know what bamboo like I've reached out to them and they just said oh just give it a few more days it's already been seven days I still ain't seen that so uh, we'll see then um right down there against there that is colors um, that are gonna be engraved and then that brings me to my next point uh, this this here printer is gonna be moved over to this side of the room because I've got a uh, Elgu uh, I don't even know how you say it Fed, Fedka Fedska laser it should be here tomorrow and I'm gonna build a bench right there and that laser is gonna sit right there with the enclosure over top and um, that's how I have mine set up and then of course over here uh, I got my you know let me move my chair up over there I've got my computer that does all the editing and slicing of course right now I've got uh, GD Studio and Bamboo running, and uh, the Elgu is running um, uh, Orca Slicer. So, and that also, I run Fusion 360, and I run, will run Lightburn on there. So, that's basically what that does for me. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And I had one, um, I guess I can add it to this. I'll probably. So right now, you guys are on uh, AC power, so I can't stretch much farther. I don't have a battery in here. I've got a battery adapter on the camera. Um, but basically, I have my stuff set up. I've got my uh, surge protector behind there. I've got my network switch uh, run out there, and you know the ones that I run uh, on a LAN are connected to that. Um, and then all my ducting which I'm gonna make a separate video on that so check that out but yeah that's how I have my um, my shop set up so it's not about space it's just about you know doing it and I started this in I think early May and this is what I've accomplished thus far I'm not sponsored by anybody um, so if you want to sponsor me hey reach out I'll take it this stuff's expensive uh, but that's what I've done it's all bought and paid for and uh, I look forward to showing you up top there that's just a couple of the other things that I've kind of made sorry I know the lighting might be off got some dolphins on the rocks a rock plus of all some birdhouse that uh, my wife wanted me to print out for her. so yeah just a little things um, so that's it if you have any questions about any of this these uh, items across here just put them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you need any advice or have any advice, also put that in the comments below. Because, hey, it's all about helping one another. So I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. And again, have fun with this. And let's learn together. We'll see you Martin in the next tumblers. one.
Arctic tumblers.